Today we've got an unpackaging of electronic digital caliper. So these are cheap calipers and it's pretty much plastic, I think. Let's see when we get in. This is how they come. This one's from Carbon Fiber Composites. This is the back, as you can see. It comes in this rather loose plastic packaging. They're not very protective. Some decent weight to it. Uh, these are plastic. I think it's all plastic. Obviously a little LCD screen. Uh, I think that's probably a battery compartment there. It's the back again. You can see it's well, it's basically plastic, but for six dollars delivered or thereabouts, six or seven dollars, it's pretty good. The key thing is, does it measure properly? So we've got a zero button here, or we've got an on-off button here. Also, if you move it, it will switch on, and then we can go switch that back on. We can go from millimeters to inches, and there's a zero button as well. So. So we zero it here. This is really the, the truth test. So let's zero it at, at zero. Let's pull it out to, I think, 20 would be there. Uh, 20 would be there. And so at 20 centimeters, it's actually reading 21.1. .1. So that's pretty rubbish. Let's try another one. Let's go to 150. So at 150, it reads 150.6, so that's better. The whole point of these kind of calipers is to get really accurate meter readings, so it's not being that accurate. It defeats the point. Uh, let's try this again. 20.8 it's coming out as. Let's get something to measure and try it that way. I found this piece of tape. I've measured it with a ruler. This is exactly two centimeters across. So this should give us a, a guide as to how good or bad this thing is. So if I go to zero and then pull it out and then we put that between the jaws, it comes out at 20.5. So it's almost correct. Well, I think a little bit more testing needs to be done on these, but it seems to be okay. Six dollars delivered. Value for money. Yeah, I think it's all right. I think it's fair value, especially with including delivery. Um, feels fairly sturdy. I think it'll last, you know, with careful ownership, probably a couple of years. Uh, just want to check that this is accurate otherwise it defeats the point so we'll try it uh, on some other things okay in order to test the accuracy of this item i found some other items some apple products which are very well uh, detailed on the internet and uh, obviously measurements will be very accurate so i'm going to take the uh, digital caliper i'm going to reset it so we're going to zero it at its, uh, at its base and then we're going to measure the two items so Let's just zero that again. There we go, perfect zero. I'm going to open it up. We've got one, which is the, uh, I think the iPod 2s, or AirPod 2s rather. The measurement should be 21.3 depth. That's coming in at 21 point, hmm, 21.2, there we go. That's kind of close enough. That's, that's, a, that's decent accuracy. It should also come in at 44.3 width so let's try that but it's coming at 44 43.4 and also it should come in at 53.3 or 5 I can't read my own writing uh, so 53.3 or 5 it's kind of close enough so it's pretty accurate I mean it's not perfect perfect but for six dollars it's actually you know, 0.1 of a mil out. I've also got, as a second thing to test, an old Apple Watch 1. So this should be 10.5 deep. Now, I know it's got a sensor on the back, so it's quite hard to measure this one. There it's 10.6 it's coming in at. 
that's close enough. Uh, 42 width. So let's measure without the buttons, or without the crown. Or rather, this way. So that's going to be 42.3, it should be 42, so that's 0.3 of a mil out. And then 39.9 should be the width. And it's 36.6, .6, so it's probably, I've written it down wrong. Anyway, we've done quite a few tests on this, and it looks like it's pretty accurate. It's more accurate than we thought. Uh, five or six dollars delivered. Great. I probably will buy um, a better, higher quality one at some stage. Uh, this is very plasticky, but it's going to last a while, and the accuracy is there, so good for now. Finally, on the back we can see it actually says the accuracy is to 0.2 of a millimeter. Uh, and that's actually very pretty an accurate accuracy reading because that's what we're seeing is 0 0.1, 0 0.2 um, millimeters of difference typically. So pretty good, pretty good, pretty impressive for the price. Great.